Let's talk. Oh no, I don't mean you and me personally. I mean in general. Let's all talk. See, if you remember when my blueby pal Lily came to visit, I mentioned how there were different ways of talking. And today, that's what I'm going to show you. And my blueby pals are right on cue, which means today's lucky winner of the Talk To Me raffle is... Me! Riley! Hiya, James. How you been? Well, I think I'll let this image speak for me just once. Oh, you're happy. So why show it to me? This is called a picture board. You'll find these in classrooms with students that have autism. Now, most people with autism can talk with each other just like you and me, but some of them like to use these to tell you how they feel just by pointing at the pictures. Cool! They also have similar boards like this for many activities. Here's one for telling people what it is that they want. Far out! I've seen something like that. They point to the I want and then point to what they want like a drink or an apple. Precisely, the fancy term for this type of communication is augmentative and alternative communication. And it's not just picture boards either. For years, doctors and tech people alike have created computers to do the talking for them. I got you now. So why the need for all the fancy stuff? Well, ever been to a foreign country where you didn't know the language? Hey, you're talking to someone with cousins in the Serengeti. There you go then. Some folks with autism just feel like that, going about their daily lives. So, when you talk to somebody who understands another language, you try to use words that mean exactly what you want to say, and give it a moment to let the words sink in. That's correct. Even though we may sometimes say things that are rather unexpected. Unexpected? How? What I mean is sometimes we might say things that come across as rude without realizing it. When I was a kid, I once told this lady that her hair was green, and even though this was technically true, it sort of surprised her, and not in a good way. My mom later had to explain to me that what I said to her was kind of rude, and that I need to take into account other people's feelings when I talk to them. Or maybe even an unexpected response, kind of like Baymax in Big Hero 6. When Hero teaches him how to fist bump, he follows it up with, Ba-la-la-la. Yeah, that's a pretty good example. So how else do people with autism communicate? Did you know that you and the other Blueby Pals are being used as educational tools? There are tons of great apps out there that are used for helping kids with autism communicate. Really? Check it out. At this school for kids with special needs and autism, teachers use iPads, communication apps, story apps, and Blueby Pals in their classrooms. They use them not just to read stories, but also as a friendly face that the kids can communicate with and say things like, good morning, or how are you? Hey, Nito! There's my pal Leo right there! And... Wait, that's me! I don't remember going to this classroom. Well, maybe it's one of your cousins. And to show you how it works, let's try hooking you up to one of these bad boys. Whoa! I'm using the Avas app, a popular application used for, what else? Augmentative communication. Parents and teachers, you'll find links to that and other great apps in our episode guide. Now all I have to do is hook you up to this thing via Bluetooth. What are you doing to me? Ah! Is it gonna hurt? Nope, we're good to go. I want food, drinks, juice, Please. I want juice, please. Whoa! Did that voice just come out of me? Yep, didn't feel bad at all, did it? Uh, nope. Just a little different. Ah, huh, yeah. That feels a bit more like it. So, how do you feel about helping kids everywhere communicate and be understood? Actually, it felt kind of weird at first, but I kind of liked it. It makes me so happy to be helpful. I'm making a difference. I guess that just goes to show that if Riley here can make a difference, so can you. Now with all the serious stuff out of the way, who here wants me to make Riley here say something silly? Ah! Just kidding! Oh, whew. I thought you were really going to do it. 